When Ares Games released their Battlestar Galactica Starship Battles core box set, we got the chance to review it. Doing this job week in and week out, it sometimes takes a lot to get me excited. The core set was that product, based upon one of my favourite sci-fi TV shows of all time, both the 1970s and 2000s versions. And now they've added the story of Kara Thrace, the top fighter pilot from the reimagined BSG TV show, whose call sign Starbuck is almost a coffee shop. There are three aspects of the story of Starbuck reflected in the three expansions we have. The first is Starbuck in her Viper Mark II, the trademark vessel of the series, and the main fighter available after the TV show gets going. The Viper is Starbuck's call sign, number and name upon it, using the type of lettering one struggles to see, and comes fully painted. This expansion also has a gaming base, ship card, a manoeuvre deck, and a set of pilot cards that let you use this strong-willed warrior in your games. The next fight is from another seminal part of the Starbuck saga, this time a Cylon Raider, the biomechanical fighter which the Colonial Fleet encounters most often. However, this particular raider is based upon the vessel used by Starbuck to escape the atmosphereless plasm she lands on during Season 1. So, we have game cards not only a standard Cylon ship, but also the same vessel as piloted by Starbuck herself. The last fight is another part of the Starbuck saga, and the TV show as a whole. This is a Cylon Raider, nicknamed Scar by the Colonial Fleet pilots, which managed to take out a number of pilots during Season 2 of the show. Scar is an excellent pilot, with the belief being that Cylons have used their resurrection, resurrection technology to bring the same consciousness back many times, learning from each defeat until it is an ace. Although eventually taken down for good during some teamwork between Starbuck and another pilot called Cap, the pack comes with game cards and materials, and acts as a counterpoint to the Colonial Ace Pirates. Pilots. As a fan of the show, these are welcome additions to the story of the show, as played out on the tabletop. However, in terms of component quality, thought and execution, these are really great examples of what can be done. Yes, it is to a certain extent the X-Wing model, but I do think that Ares Games have taken that concept and pushed it further in terms of quality and potential narrative gameplay. Now. Bring on the Viper Mark 7 and the Raptor. This video has been produced by WI Prime. WI Prime is Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. As a WI Prime member, you get access to all Wargames Illustrated videos before anyone else. We'll keep you posted on what's new via the Primetime News Bulletin delivered to your inbox every Friday. If you're not a WI Prime member, you're missing out on loads of benefits, including access to the Wargames Illustrated Vault, freebies, discount vouchers, PDFs of the latest magazine, and more. Find out more about WI Prime by following the link.